Good evening, you're watching Nation at 5 with me, Ridma Bhatnagar, here on CNN News 18. The Indian Army lost five of its brave hearts. Five Jabans were martyred in the Poonch terror attack yesterday. Investigation is currently on. That's our top focus at 5 p.m. The latest as far as the Poonch terror attack is concerned, we are now understanding there is an NIA team along with the Jammu and Kashmir DGP Dilbaq Singh that in fact are now on location to try and ascertain what really happened yesterday. According to sources, several suspects have already been detained by security forces for further questioning. Top intel sources have also told us here at CNN News 18 that there are five suspected attackers. Three of them are suspected to be foreign to terrorists and two locals. Sources have also told us that the attack was very well planned with the motive to create some sort of sensation ahead of the G20 summit that is going to take place next month. Some shopkeepers in the local area are also now being questioned if they saw any suspicious movement before this terror attack happened. PGP unit in Kashmir is staging a protest against Poonch attack in which five army men lost their life. Uh, this is the protest that happened uh, just a short while back uh, here and many of them are carrying this uh, you know, uh, printed placard saying Pakistan nursery of uh, terrorism and we're seeing others also raising uh, slogans against uh, militancy in Kashmir Valley. Uh, now uh, these are uh, BJP workers, we'll try and speak to some of them uh, but yes, uh, you know, they are saying that uh, they're not, uh, you know, uh, they're protesting against this, uh, the, these soldiers that who have been killed by uh, that, that in that attack yesterday we saw how that attack unfolded aaj apne protest kiya iske bare mein thoda bataiye dekhiye pakistan dehshatgard country g20 summit ko disturb karna chahta hai aur wo duniya ko dikhana chahta hai ki kashmir mein theek thak nahi hai jabki 2 5 august 2019 ke baad dehshatgardi sabse niche level pe aa gayi aur kashmir mein ab dehshatgard ka naam nishan nahi raha isliye usne strategy change karke hit और जंगलों में छुप जाकर जो पॉलिसी उसने अपनाई और जिस सिलसिले में कल राजौरी में उन्होंने अटैक करके हमारे पांच वीर जवानों को शहीद किया हम पाकिस्तान को यह मैसेज देना चाहता है पाकिस्तान आप में वो हिम्मत ही नहीं है कि आप जी ट्वेंटी सिमिट को डिस्टर्ब कर सके the kind of attack this was. There were a lot of questions being raised whether this was a grenade attack or not. Now some reports suggesting that possibly an ID was used, use of a sticky bomb. What are the kind of details that you're picking up? So two things that uh, agencies on the ground and there are multiple agencies involved. There's the Jammu and Kashmir Police, there's the National Investigation Agency, Army of course, uh, the first responder there, also uh, the intelligence agencies. So they're all on the ground and together what they have managed to ascertain is that both bullets were fired and grenade def definitely was used in this attack. On the question of whether another IED or, or a sticky bomb was used, uh, the jury is still out. There are some telltale signs on grounds which seem to suggest that perhaps that was the reason why the truck went up in flames but they're waiting for the forensic report to come out before they can say so with uh, full certainty so the sequence of event as we know is uh, that there was first firing at that truck and uh, there was retaliatory fire from the side of those who were occupying the truck the driver for one uh, retaliated and subsequently grenade was used uh, shopkeepers who are in that vicinity small very small shops uh, which sell very basic items they have told the police that they did hear gunfire and it went on for at least five to seven minutes uh, in that five to seven minutes it was all over the truck uh, went up in flames and the terrorists fled from there so that's the sequence of event that they have come up with Arunuma, now i also want to talk to you about what possibly could have happened on the ground because the investigation is still on but as you're saying a lot of agencies now looking into the work of possible locals being involved because we're talking about an army vehicle how did somebody even have access 
to that army vehicle. So is there now a possibility that they were looking at a larger convoy? They were possibly some inside hand that could have given them access to the army vehicle? See, if indeed a sticky bomb has been used, then of course the possibility of an insider job will have to be investigated. In sticky bombs have been used in Jammu area, in Katra, uh, in a bus. But that is easier. The bus is parked in a public space. Somebody goes and just sticks the bomb uh, at the fuel tank and moves away. But an army uh, you know, vehicle is parked in a secure location and doesn't really go into public spaces. So how, if at all a sticky bomb was used, how did they really stick it on? Second thing, did they expect a larger convoy? Because at least five terrorists were involved is what uh, officials on ground are suspecting. At least five, two of which could be local. Uh, three, the, again, based on eyewitness accounts, I think three have been uh, asserted to be uh, foreign terrorists. Uh, so how did they manage to get there? without uh, knowing the topography, without knowing the terrain. It's a heavily forested area. It has natural caves. The suspicion is that these natural caves were used as hideouts by the terrorists and they had come stored enough supplies. So who helped them get those supplies? How did they get to this uh, forested area? How did they know what natural part of the cave is secure for them. All of this could not have come without local help. So that's why that angle is being investigated too. Um, we are told many people are currently suspects and they have been detained only after the uh, questioning by various agencies who are involved will we know if anybody actually had a role to play in this attack. Arunima, we'll just request you to stay on with us because our colleague Ishan Vani is also now joining us on the broadcast and he in fact is joining us from Srinagar. Ishan, a lot of developments have happened just in the last couple of hours. You've had the DGP of Jammu and Kashmir, the boxing on the ground. You've had teams of the NIA on the ground as well. What's happening as far as the search and combing operations are concerned? Uh, well, first, let me take you to the latest piece of information. We are told that DG BSF uh, has taken stock of the situation. He has also, uh, you know, been briefed about the entire uh, main sector that uh, but the alertness that the troops are maintaining, particularly the BSF, he has been also briefed about uh, the current situation on the LC and the international border uh, because BSF also plays a crucial role in uh, border domination along the uh, international border in Jammu. Uh, now, coming back to your question, uh, you know, the combing operation is on. We are told that uh, the, the army along with the Jammu Kashmir police are looking for those who attacked uh, yesterday. Uh, they tried to establish a contact with the militants who had come there and escaped out of firing. Uh, but there was no contact with retaliatory fire which came from the other side. Uh, so yes, uh, there's a massive operation in the morning, helicopters were used and then also drones are being used. The technology uh, is something which the uh, so forces are strongly relying upon. They are also checking uh, the details of network uh, and also mobile data uh, that was uh, uh, at that time in that particular area so that they can generate further leads. But it has happened in the past that uh, in the previous attacks, uh, soon after attacking, uh, these groups have uh, disappeared almost uh, from the area. Uh, Last operation was in 21 when nine army jawans uh, uh, unfortunately lost their lives. Uh, the operation continued for more than uh, 30 days, uh, but to, but nobody was they were not able to track down anybody uh, because the terrain is very difficult. Uh, the mountains are steep. Uh, the dense forest cover is there. Uh, there is always a possibility of a surprise attack by the militants. So the forces will go step by step and try to sanitize the entire area and look for those who care, who uh, you know uh, have, are responsible for this attack. Uh, remember uh, this is come in wake of G20. Uh, this is something which the government has been banking sure. upon heavily in Kashmir. They have been revamping the city, the entire Kashmir, uh, particularly the Srinagar city, is being redecorated. Uh, okay. So yes, uh, the militant groups are trying to send a message because whenever there have been certain uh, high dignitaries sure. visiting India, they are trying to show their presence. Right. Ishan and Arunama, we'll request both of you to stay on with us. We're getting some other breaking developments coming in as well.